Hello guys, my name is Rishabh Raj and I'm a second year student at Bits Pilani and this video is all about scholarships in Bits Pilani. So guys, I have always been hearing students talking about how expensive Bits Pilani is and how high the fees is and people who are who have less income cannot afford it. So now I'm going to clear all your speculations and tell you that it's not as expensive as you think it is. So let's begin. The thing with scholarships is like there are two types of scholarships in Bits Pilani. One is MCN and other is Merit. MCN is similar to Merit Come Need Scholarship and Merit is obviously Merit Scholarship. So there are two types of scholarship as I told and it is not as expensive as it looks as I've told. And let's begin. So the thing with scholarships is that it is this you get by your CGPA after every semester. So CGPA is cumulative. Okay, it's not SGPA. It's not semester wise CGPA. It's like first semester you got some CGPA, then second semester the combined CGPA from first and second. According to that, you will get the scholarships, not according to your every semester performance. Okay. So these things you can also know once you enter the college. Later on, let's move to for student. Uh -huh, and this is the MCN, the merit come need. This is for students whose parents have lost less income and merit scholarship is for who bring exceptional CGPA. And this we would know ahead. So if we talk about merit scholarship, so merit scholarship is for students who are in top one or two percent in the college and or in their branch in their second from second year onwards and all. So the thing is that you can get a hundred percent or forty percent on the tuition fee. Okay. So what is the CGPA criteria for hundred percent? You you have to bring something like nine point eight plus with relative grading. So it's not that easy. You may think that I'll come to this college, I'll bring 9.8 CGPA, but I think merit scholarship is not that, uh, you know, predictable. And it's also not that you can rely on that I'll, I'll enter this college for merit scholarship because it, I'll get a merit, merit scholarship. I will do a lot of hard work and all this. You cannot judge, I think. And that is why I think you should rely more on MCN scholarship and that you can only get, which I'll tell the eligibility criteria and all in the next slide. First of all, I will tell that you can get a merit scholarship at like 100% at 9.8 CGPA and 40% at 9.4 CGPA. So if you get 100% C scholarship, then your fees is almost negligible. You only have to pay your hostel and mess fees, which is around 60,000 for the whole year and all something like that. So if we move ahead and talk about merit complete scholarship, you need your parents need to have an income less than 11 lakh per annum then only this is the current criteria these increases every year or decrease it does not decrease it only increases uh, you know according to the indian economy situations and all this is what i can tell uh, so what you have to do is simply you have to submit the itr itr is like income tax return copy which you can ask from your parents and their their whole income is written and they check it the college checks it so yeah, you need to submit your income tax report, which you can ask from your parents and they can easily give you and that is it. So if we talk about the CGPA cutoffs, we will, I have listed it down below so I can talk better about that. And if I would like to tell you that it is certainly very, very easier than merit scholarships and you would yourself know it below. So let's begin. So the CG cutoff for here is like you get an 80% scholarship. If you have a CG like 8.5 plus and you can get a 40% CG if you have a CG like 7.8 plus and you can get a CG and you can get a 25% scholarship on 6.5 plus CG, which is quite easier. Okay. And I would also like to tell you that these, all these percent cutoffs, sorry, percent scholarships are from your tuition fee and not from your, from your complete fees. You have to give your hostel fees and all. Still around two, 300 students get this MCN plus merit scholarship. So you can also get it only if you are eligible for it. But I think that if you have, if you are having too much problems in getting admission in Bits Pilani, just because uh, you think that you cannot afford it and your parents don't have a decent income. So I think this can certainly help. So yeah, uh, that is it. And if I talk about still you have problems like I also I am also getting an education loan 
so you can also get an education loan so how to get it i would also like to tell you that so the thing is that it can be applied online as well as offline and sbi is one of the best you can also get it from pnb or any other bank but the thing is that uh, there is an sbi pilani which is uh, very close to bits pilani and it also offers uh, easy loans and you can easily get it from online as well as offline so i would be telling about sbi and uh, i'm also availing the loan from sbi so i'll be talking about it so sbi offers a scholar loan which provides you loan up to 20 lakh without collateral and greater than 20 lakh with collateral and also it is an easy available loan bank itself contacts you it tells you everything that uh, it requires and you can give them those documents and you can easily get a loan so that is it guys uh, i hope i cleared all your doubts and thank you for watching the video subscribe the channel bye